I'm Mimi Bliss with Bliss Communications, and I work with leaders on the core leadership skill of public speaking. Presentation skills are something we use every day, whether we are leading a conference call, speaking at a meeting, or presenting at a large conference. If we are good at presenting and effective in how we present our information, we will be better at everything we do. I'm always looking for really actionable techniques, simple things we can remember and do that make us more effective speakers. Here are three actionable techniques. Number one is choose your words. Eliminate minimizing language. I'll just talk a little bit about. I'm just going to take a quick minute. Well, I know it's kind of long and dull and it's late in the afternoon. Just these have all just minimized the value of what I'm saying. We are not here to apologize. We want to instead eliminate the minimizing language and replace it with a pause, silence is good, and confident flag phrases. Our goal is, I recommend, my ask is. The critical issue here is, all of these flag phrases draw attention to what I'm saying and get the audience focused on what's important. Number two is be specific. Use concrete examples instead of abstract concepts. So for example, when we did the workshop at Waller, one of the attorneys talked about how to use blockchain technology to assist shipping companies, such as a large you know, FedEx, uh, to facilitate vendor payments. That was a mouthful. You can't remember it. But everyone understood when he gave a very specific example of how this technology was used when shipping sushi grade fish from Japan to a restaurant in Nashville. We understand sushi. The idea is it was the specific example, not the abstract concept. So use examples when explaining abstract concepts. Number three is the speaking tips. How we say it is as important as what we say. The most common question I get is, what do I do with my hands? And I always say it starts with your feet. Stand on a solid foundation. Avoid this. Avoid leaning, shifting back and forth. Instead, give yourself a solid foundation. If you're seated, sit up, lean in, hands above the table. It's okay to walk for a purpose, but make sure we're not kind of wandering and shifting. Then, once you have a solid foundation, open natural gestures. This will make us look more tentative, kind of holding your hands, folding, clutching, open natural gestures. And an easy way to be better with your gestures is to use those flag phrases. They go hand in hand. We make better gestures when we use confident language such as our goal is. It's as simple as speaking with punctuation. If something's important, it's worth using our hands, using our voice and pausing. All of this helps people to keep up and pay attention to what we're saying. So what I encourage you to do is the next time you've got a presentation, whether it's something as simple as a meeting or something with much higher stakes like a keynote at a conference, is choose your words, use good confident language, give specific examples, not abstract concepts, and speak with punctuation. Take one of those techniques and use it in your next conference call or your next meeting. Make it a new normal and you'll find that you're a much better speaker in all situations.